Hello, Sue here again from Sue's Dog Rob My Kitchen. I hope you're all well. I'm not going too nuts in the weird, wacky, wonderful, nutty world we now find ourselves living. Yeah, today is Wednesday the 16th of, no, 17th of February. So I just wanted to make a quick cake. It is like half past six in the evening. And I just wanted to make a really nice cake. My partner's hurt his foot. Oh, he's pulled a muscle. So, and I want to make him a nice cake. I've been putting cold compresses on it all day. He's been keeping his foot up. He's at work, but he works from home. And I've been trying to make him as comfortable as possible with lots of cups of tea. So I wanted to make him a nice little cake today as well. So, anyway, I'm making, oh, I was going to make a Swiss roll but I can't be bothered because it's too late in the evening and I need more time to make a Swiss roll. It's quite complicated compared to just a normal sponge cake. So this is a mix, um, a whisked sponge cake, okay? So I'm whisking this and um, because I've got so many eggs, I need to get rid of them. <laughs> so I thought I'd make a whisked, which is like, um, you know, like a really light sponge cake. So that's what we're making today. So it doesn't take many ingredients, it's literally got three ingredients in it, which are in front of me, which is sugar, flour and eggs, okay? And that's all it has in it, so, and you whisk it up. And so I'll read you out the ingredients, and I'm using this book again, <laughs> which I've used many times now, and I've made lots and lots of cakes out of this. But I really was going to make the Swiss roll, but I'll have to leave that for another day. Um, and I'll just make a sponge cake today, which will be easier. So what you need to do, um, it's really simple, is you need 85 grams of flour. And it says C note below. And as the eggs and sugar are beaten so voraciously in this type of sponge, they provide the light texture. Um, so you can use plain flour without a raisin agent. If you, however, you are making this sponge for the first time, you may be happier to use self-raising flour. So today I'm going to use self-raising flour because I've not done this particular recipe before. I've made sponge cakes in the past, but not from this book. So I'm going to stick to the safe way and use um, the self-raising flour. But if you haven't got any self-raising flour, as long as you beat this a lot, it should be all right, okay? So... For this, you need to have warmed your oven, so I've got my oven on right now, and you need two seven and a half inch cake tins, which I've got over here, and I've greased them, I've lined them with the butter wrappers, which I use. So they're lined with the butter wrappers, so they're greased and lined with the butter wrappers. And, right. I'll just read you what it says for the sponge cake. So it says prepare the sponge as given above and the recipe for Swiss roll on page 361. You don't need to know that. This mixture is inclined to stick to the tins. So either line them with grease proof paper or grease and flour the tins. Okay, so it's really important you do that. So I've used loads and loads of the greased paper on these so they will not stick. Um, it is wise precaution to grease even non-stick tins, which is what these are, but it's still you should still grease and line them. And for free eggs, etc., you need two 18 to 19, 7 to 7 half inch tins, which is what we're using. But we're going to be using six bantam eggs because my eggs are a lot smaller. And I'm going to use um, well maybe four to six. I'll see how, how it is. But that's what we're going to be using because um, the free eggs would be large eggs, okay? So it would be free large eggs, and we haven't got large eggs. We have medium eggs from my medium chicken, and we have little tiny eggs from my bantam chickens. So we're going to use six small eggs, okay? All right, so you need... Do, 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 do. And you need to have your oven moderately hot, 190, 370 five degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark five for about 12 minutes or until firm to the touch 
And they're really easy, it's only going to take 12 minutes and then you just turn them out onto sugar paper and sandwich together with the cream and jam such as strawberries or raspberries or well-drained canned or fresh peach slices and top with sugar and that's it basically you can make sponge fingers with this um, Swiss rolls has a lot of variations this whisk, whisk sponge okay but I'm just doing it as in a jam sponge today so that's what we're going to be doing so let's crack on shall we with the ingredients so we need 85 grams of flour so we're using self raising as I just said today so let's just set our scales right let's just set that so we need 85 grams of either plain flour or self raising flour I'm using self raising so 85 grams so we're going to sift it into this bowl so you don't get any lumps at all and there we are you can sift it a couple of times if you want but we're only sifting it once and then you need three large eggs and you need 110 grams four ounces of caster sugar so I'm going to just um, put the sugar in the sieve uh, I think you've got to do it that way oh I've probably done it wrong hold on take that out I always do this wrong I never read the instructions properly I think you're supposed to beat the eggs and the sugar together yep you are so I've done that bit wrong already it's a good start so anyway there's still some sugar in there so we just beat the eggs and the sugar together okay so we're going to do that in a bowl six bantam eggs and we're you're just going to beat it to death basically so we're going to use six of these wow. and they're very intense these um, eggs now we're going to whisk this and you're going to whisk this for uh, a light texture so you really want a light texture and then you're going to gradually add this into this um, I've already added some sugar in that because I forgot you were supposed to add the sugar and the eggs together. So anyway, let's whisk it up. Right, okay. I think that's whisked enough. So the mixture is quite thick, the eggs and the, um, uh, the sugar. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to add in... The, well, it's supposed to not have any sugar in this, it's supposed to just be the flour. And you're just gently going to fold it into your egg mixture. So you don't need to do any more whisking here. You just want to gently fold it in to your egg mixture. Okay? So gently. So slowly does it. So a little bit at a time. Like so. Until, you, until all the flour has gone. Okay? Well, that's it. So just pick it up and turn it over very gently because you just whisked in loads of air. You don't want to lose the air now. But this is a very, very quick cake only takes 12 minutes to cook unlike my fruit cakes which take hours and hours and hours so I won't have to be down here for long and then I'll let it cool down for a little while in my kitchen which is really cold and then I'll put the jam and the cream in it actually I might just put jam in it and then have cream with it because I noticed if we don't hurry up and eat this the cream can sometimes go off or you could use a buttercream but I don't really want to use that because it has a lot of sugar in it and um, I know that this has sugar in it but um, I just wanted to make it for my partner today and uh, it's quick it's not going to take me hours to make um, like a fruit cake which I usually make and I don't put any sugar in it but I've had to put some sugar in this today but got to have a little treat sometimes especially if you've hurt your foot and it 
pencil swollen. So that's it. So I folded in all of the, so you can see that, I folded in all of the flour into the mixture. Oh, hold on, there's a little bit left. Just get it all. So it was only, it's only 85 grams of flour. It's not got much flour in it. And that's it. So hopefully it doesn't, hopefully it comes out all right. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> So you're going to split it between these two tins now um, and then put it in the oven. I'm probably going to put it on the middle shelf because my oven is really hot now because I've had it on for, for a long time. So I reckon it's really hot in there. So we we'll try and do it equal in these two tins. Um, a bit more in this one. I don't think it would take 15 minutes actually. I think it's going to be quicker than that. It's not very thick. So, I will keep an eye on it very closely. Hi there, Sue back again. So what I was wanting to just show you is that I'm going to actually whisk um, some cream and I'm going to put this Madagascan vanilla essence in here. So I'm probably going to put a couple of capfuls in. It's quite thick this. So my plan is not to put the cream in the cake. I'm still going to whisk it up and then I'm going to store it in the fridge and then when we have a slice of the cake, because the cake will take us about a week to eat, um, we'll just grab a little bit of the cream and put it on the cake with the jam. Or some caster sugar you could do. Or you could actually put on any kind of like frosting or something, anything like that. You could actually make a butter cream icing if you prefer. Look, um, I haven't made that in my cake. But if you want me to make a butter cream icing, just let me know and I'll make one. Right, that's nearly done now. that's the cream is done okay so it stays put but not over whisked okay otherwise it goes all yucky you're horrible so that's the cream done let's just see what it tastes like mm. see these essences are very deceiving because that actually has some sugar in it because I can taste it so that that's like a syrupy vanilla and that actually has got a sweetener in it. Yeah, so luckily I didn't add any sugar because it would have been really sweet. That's probably why it whisked quick as well because of the added uh, the sugar in the um, vanilla essence. So be aware of that. I do make my own vanilla essence but it's maturing at the moment because I had to add a lot more vodka to it. So I need it to mature for a bit and I had to add a couple of more vanilla pods. But you can make your own vanilla essence. Just let me know if you'd like me to make it, okay? And I'll show you how to make it from scratch, okay? But you need about 20 vanilla pods. So it can work out pretty expensive. Um, you do it over time and you just keep it for years and you just add more vanilla pods and more vodka. Um, and that's, that's what it is basically. The vanilla pods, I cut them, I slice them down the middle, I scrape all the seeds out and put them in, in, the, um, in the liquid and then I put the whole vanilla pods in there as well. So, and it just has to mature over time. Okay? So, but you can buy these, these little, um, these little essences in these little bottles, but, um, Nothing is as good as when you make it yourself, okay? And there's no sugar in the one that I have, okay? Anyway, I'll see you again in a minute when the cakes are done, okay? Bye for now. Hello again, Sue back again. Um, so, I've just taken out my little sandwich cakes out of the oven. They're literally just cooked, so I'm just going to tip them out onto the baking trays now. And 
and they are done and the way to test whether they're done is to test that they're firm and also to put a knife in the middle if it comes out clean then it's done okay like you do with any cake so I'm just going to tip this on here one of these is bigger than the other and they come out cleanly because I've put tons and tons of this paper on so they're definitely definitely done hello again right so when it says it's light it is very 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 light sponge cake and I found when I took the wrapper off of this one first um, it, it, it sort of was quite hard whereas after a couple of leaving this one for a couple of more seconds was much easier to take the wrapper off hmm really light sponge cake really 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 light um, yeah you do actually need a lot of grease proof paper but I would leave it for a few for about three or four minutes before you try and take the paper off because I took the paper off this one straight away and as you can see I don't know if you can see that it um, it took some of the stuff off whereas this one it took a tiny bit off here but um, overall it was much easier to take the paper off this one so just a word of warning there it's cooling down it's cooling down really quick so I'm actually going to warm up some of this jam so I can sort of pour it on because I don't really want to disturb the surface of the cake because it's really really light and I think that it would uh, it would get disturbed very quickly so what we're going to do is just <clears throat> take some of our lovely black currant jam and just put it in this bowl and warm it up in the microwave so we're just going to do that that's probably enough so this jam is what I made with my grandsons last summer when they came for summer holidays seems like an, an age ago now. Mm -hmm. Tip the jam a bit on a different spoon because I've put that one in my mouth. Oh, hello bud. You alright? Yeah, going up. Alright, I'll be up soon. I'll bring you some tea and a bit of cake. Huh? Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to fill the cake with this jam. You just need to do one side, so I need to do both sides. And we'll see how much we've got. We've got enough there, we might use a bit more. Okay. We might use a bit more. So I'm using the harder of the two sides because this side seems to be a, a bit more easier to do. I'll, I'll use a bit more. There's three ingredients which is eggs, sugar and flour and then um, just the whatever you want to put in the middle so you could put whatever jam you want to put in or you could put fresh fruit in if you had a family like a little gathering or something and you wanted to make it for a special occasion you could um, you could put um, whatever you want in a to a jam sponge but I need this to last for a few days so we're going to have this with the cream but we're not putting the cream in the cake okay as I explained so I'm going to hopefully pick this up maybe I should pick this one up no okay I'll be back in a sec when I've figured this one out okay let's try it like this yeah, that's probably the way to do it. <laughs> and some of it's breaking off. I'm just going to stuff it in the hole. There. That bit broke off there. Just stuff that in there. There you go. I may do a mend with the cake. Uh. So, that's it. Cake is done. You could put some icing sugar on at this stage. There's the cake. I'm just going to transfer it to a plate, hopefully. <laughs> oh, I love doing this. It's so much fun. <laughs> I love things going wrong like this. 
because both sides of the cake are the same. There you go. So it doesn't really matter. So this is a, a black currant blackberry jam in here and you could put cream in it. Um, I'm not going to do that because um, we might not eat it all at once. We're not going to eat this cake all at once. And I'm going to cut some now for me and my partner to eat um, upstairs. I'm just going to do that now. And we're going to have it with some crisp. Cut a couple of pieces. And we'll have it with some cream. Okay, perfect. And a piece for me. It's cooled down really quick because it's really cold in this kitchen. Well, it will be. And it's a really light cake. Now I'm just going to put a dollop of cream on there. And that's how we're going to eat it. So you could put the cream in the cake. But as I just said, we're not doing that. Because the cream might go off before we have a chance to eat the cake. This way... It doesn't matter. And tomorrow we might want ice cream with it and not cream. So there we are. Mm. Mm. Oh, yum, yum. I love cream. So there it is. So this is a sponge cake, really, really light and fluffy. Only took a, a maximum of 10 minutes to cook. Really, really simple cake. And if you want the ingredients for this really light sponge, whisk sponge, um, really light, so airy with so many eggs in it. And it looks absolutely lovely. Look at that. But you can make it look better if you had another layer with like buttercream or cream in it. But we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to leave that in my kitchen and cover it up. And then we'll eat these two pieces. I'll make my, my partner a cup of tea and I will take these upstairs. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me, leave me a like and a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel, please. And ring that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And tell your friends and family about my channel. And if there's anything you'd like me to make, I don't mind, I'll try to make anything, um, as long as it's not too mental. But I mean, this cake, literally 10 minutes, and you can make a Swiss roll with this same recipe. I will do that in another video, I haven't quite got round to that, but that's going to take a bit longer. Today, I've just um, wanted to do a cake really quickly. Um, so this is like a 10 minute cake, um, really, really, really quick. This whole process probably took half an hour so to make a cake so you could make this cake for a celebration and decorate it all and make it look really pretty but it's a really really light sponge cake made with my own bent mix so thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon so bye for now bye